hello guys in this video i'm going to create an eye i'm go i'm going to show you how you can sculpt eyes so first i'm going to use a by default model from here lightbox and this model double click on it and then we just need to get rid of this by default eyes so i'm going to delete the sub tool of the eye so select that and let's delete it so basically i'm setting up the scene right now so now i'm going to cover this up so this eye area i'm going to fill this so uh, in order to do that i'm going to use dynamics so let's go to dynamics geometry and dynamics here and turn on this dynamics option so when it's a dynamics object we can easily fill this so let's use the clay build up brush and with the symmetry turned on i'm going to put some polygons here something like this and then hold control and drag outside uh, to regenerate the polygons control drag outside it's going to fill any hole we have there so now i'm going to smooth this or uh, even i can just push this in with uh, holding the alt key basically i'm setting up the model so that there's no eye and we are going to do it from scratch in this video i'm going to talk about some basic rules and how we can you know, start the eye so here uh, this is our starting point uh, this model has no eye so i'm going to first create the balls the just imagine like the eye is closed uh, something like that so i'm going to uh, put some balls here so i'm going to create use the clay build up and create this kind of shape just imagine like the eyes is closed right now so you can see this kind of shape here because underneath this area there is the eyeball which is a spear so we need to have this kind of big big shape first we just have this kind of shape here so once we have this and then we can draw the eye shape okay so now we have this kind of shape here so i'm going to draw the eye shape so when you draw the eye shape I'm going to use damn standard for that uh, but the shape is very important so let's use damn standard and create the eye shape the first question is how big the eye needs to be so there is a cool rule for that if you let me turn off my perspectivity uh, so that we don't see any perspectivity if I you know if I uh, just take this width of this head from here to here and create a straight line on that so let me create a straight create a straight line for this something like this and now if i divide this whole width to uh, if, if i divide this whole width into five section so let's one here to just roughly eyeballing it if i divide it five section i'll get my eyes the second from this left the second shape is the eye the uh, fourth shape is the eye so basically we have five eye width here five eye width so if you divide this whole width of the face into five section you'll get the overall size of the eye and there's one eye gap between two eye so this is a very cool technique now you can see uh, the gap between two eyes needs to be one eye and then the uh, this gap is one eye so we got our eye shape here which is closely uh, matching in this case okay so i'm going to draw the eye shape now uh, now once i got that information now what's the eye shape usually people think the eye shape is something very simple uh, like you draw a curve and then you draw a kind of opposite curve and then you got the eye it's actually a little bit more complex than this so if you see the eye shape the eye shape is actually a little bit complicated so it's uh, not not a very smooth curve like this it's not a very even curve like this it's something like this if i break that to some kind, kind of angular lines if you see the high point one high point is there 
and then one so you can divide it into three section like this and then obviously the corner of the eye something like this and then we have this shape and then three section so you can see it's not a very kind of smooth shape like this it it has something like this so if i smooth this uh, section now i can just draw something like this Now, as you can see the high point is somewhere here not at the center and then the high point here the lowest point here is somewhere here not at the center so it's a little bit kind of you no know, uh, again you can see different eye shapes sometimes you see a very curved eye kind of cat eye shape um, that also you see but again the overall eye shape is something like this so we need to do that i'm going to first get it get a simple curve like this and then we can adjust it so once i draw those shapes now i'm going to uh, mask this area control and mask this inside part and then we are going to move this in so mask it hold control mask outside to reverse that use your move gizmo and then uh, now let me click here on this icon to bring that to the selection area and then we can push this in so that we can put the eyeball there so let's get rid of the mask okay when you do the eyes from this angle make sure it has the curve so it's not on a straight line it's again on the on the head and it has uh, this shape oh sorry okay so it it has that shape there let me bring my okay now i'm going to increase my um, resolution a little bit so let's increase it a little bit still i'm working on the basic level so i'm not going to increase it too much okay so now at this stage i'm going to bring my eyeball so that we can you know fix the eye area so i'm going to sub tool and then append a spear so let's go to append and oh let's append a spear scale down it and you can turn on transparency so that you can see the spear inside the head and let's let's put this a spear at the right place something like this let's move it a little bit okay let's turn this off okay now that i have my spear the eye uh, eyeball i'm going to adjust this adjust the eyelid areas so let's select the the model and then i'm going to adjust it so using damp standard let's adjust the eyelid upper eyelid area i'm going to push this in push this in this save and then obviously i'm going to hold alt and then uh, refine this this line a little bit push this in so basically refining the overall eye shape now it's very very weird so i'm going to move and get that eye shape we just uh, talked earlier let's move this now you can see i'm trying to get that high point somewhere here and then it's going there from the side view we need to look this and you can see this you can see this angle here the eyelid has this angle and from this bottom it's it's also going to have this angle and the spear is somewhere here so now the eyelid is actually kind of a thin skin which which is kind of on top of that spear you can see it it has same width here okay so i'm going to put this at this bottom module to create that eyelid again from the side view we have this shape okay now let me refine this edge using alt and then kind of getting that angle that plane change you can see 
you can see the plane change here this angle here so this th uh, this lead needs to have a proper thickness people tends to make it a little bit thin side but it has a bit thickness so i'm going to move this corner from this lower angle we have this round shape here so it should go in it should properly wrap around the eyeball and from this front view we can see the corner of the eye somewhere something like this and here we can see the tear dog so we are going to put that and there but right now i'm working on the eye shape and here we have the corner kind of kind of a point from there it's changing its angle in the overall size is very important smooth this area refine this area a bit okay something like this you can see you can see the shape here okay this is very important to have this thickness so people tend to uh, do uh, this mistake they tend to do this no eyelid thickness very small so we have this this much of thickness here but you don't see this much of thickness here because this part of this uh, no the upper part of this eye area kind of boils uh, kind of a bulge in shape here so it kind of cover this eyelid a little bit but again we have this thickness there and then I'm going to push this area a little bit in maybe with using my clay build up I can push this area so we have a kind of piping kind of shape here so it, it has a little bit something like this and maybe we can save smooth this a little bit and then using my damp standard I'm going to put a line like this a deep line like this so this is actually the eye socket area maybe it's too much maybe somewhere here so this is my eyelid here and then this is my kind of bone eye socket area which which has this kind of set so you you usually see this you know this indication here in this area so roughly sculpted now i'm going to maybe maybe this is a little bit big so we can adjust it this corner is a little bit big side so it should go in as well and usually this corner of the eye is a little bit down than this corner so it has a little bit so it's not in a single line it has something like this so it's kind of having an angle a little bit angle not a big angle here a little bit so this corner of the eye tends to kind of stay a little bit upward upward there so you need to again uh, correct this so don't uh, make those on a straight line they needs to have a sim kind of a little bit upward angle there and here I'm going to use my damp standard to refine this inside part. So here people tend to forget this area. So I'm going to solo it. Let's go to transform and solo. So here I'm going to push these things in, creating this kind of thickness of the eyelid. So we'll get a clear line there. Now I don't have a lot of polygons, but we are going to come back to this area. We need to smooth this. Now this this thing has a little bit weird shape, so we need to correct that. Let me use my clay build up. Maybe we can smooth it and then we can clean it a little bit. Okay, now this this line tends to 
kind of the upper eyelid tends to overlap the lower eyelid so what we can do you can just put a little bit mass here like this so it's kind of tend to overlap and this line tends to kind of cross this lower line a little bit something like this so that line extends a little bit okay now let me go back so let's turn off the solo and we have the overall shape here and again make sure the between gap of the two eyes is kind of somewhat one eye gap so if it you can eyeball it or you can just take a cube and you know just align it and then move it and check if that uh, the case i'm going to actually do that so let's append a cube uh, as a guide so let's append that and select it scale down so this would be the guide uh, to check the proportion so let's scale it down move it to the right place and then i'm going to scale it in this direction only uh, so that it fits the eye shape okay the eye shape here from this corner to the uh, this corner and now i'm going to let's bring that out in this direction okay so what we can do we can just control and drag it like this or you can just duplicate from here in the soft tool panel duplicate and move this and align it it should uh, toss this corner now you can see we have a little bit gap going on there that means we can move the overall eye so i'm going to i'm going to undo it and then let's actually hide these things select the body here and then we can move this eye corner a little bit or the whole eye shape with the big brush i'm going to move something like this a little bit so that they fit now i can check now if i i can make sure the cube is not exactly at the eye shape area and now oh sorry select it maybe maybe we can move the eye a little bit more so one eye gap between two eye so maybe maybe this time it's going to going to work no i think i need to delete it and then we need to readjust the cube because we had scaled the eye now it's a little bit big from this to this and then i'm going to duplicate it now you can see we have a you no know, one eye gap there in between that so i'm going to turn off the transparency switch to the eye so now we have got that proportion right so now this this is the time when we are going to refine this and from the side angle uh, make sure the lower eyelid kind of the upper eyelid stay further this this way so it's kind of uh, the upper eyelid comes forward in this direction and then the lower eyelid stays little bit little bit back so it's if i create a straight line from here so this should uh, there should be a gap here so they shouldn't be on a single line now it's fine because we can see the lower eyelid is back and the upper eyelid upper eyelid kind of comes further a little bit so this is uh, the right thing so you need to uh, see some angle here from the upper eyelid to the lower eyelid so make sure you have this you know basic stuff before you move to the uh, detail or something always always check actually this stuff so here i'm going to create a little bit thickness i think this this little bit again we need to see a little bit even thickness here now you can see we have a little bit thick thick here and then it's not even now i'm going to move and try to create an even thickness and make sure we have a pretty good thickness actually people tend to make this very thin it's it has actually good amount of thickness 
so make sure we have the thickness and that save from the angle right we need to actually move the eyeball because we moved the eyelid area so it's not fair if you don't move that and now you can see we got that overall save now we can increase the resolution and then kind of refine it smooth it a bit so increase the resolution okay good now i can just smooth let me decrease the smooth intensity sometimes 100 is a little bit too much it can erase out your details as well so i'm going to smooth it like this okay now now what we can do we can work on this area so i'm going to use my inflat brush let's actually refine this line a little bit then i'm going to use that this eyelid line needs to refine properly okay something like this and then i'm going to use in flat on this area so this area tends to be bulge out so this area basically and then this area is a curve in shape so it's a uh, concave and this area is a convex shape when i say concave convex uh, so if i take a block and do this so just think about a wall or something and we cut a shape here so this is a concave shape it's a concave shape and if i do the opposite and kind of add something to the shape the block and now this shape is a convex shape okay so uh, now here we have a convex shape and then this area tends to have a concave shape so i'm going to do that thing so here i'm going to maybe use clay tube or maybe in flat so that we can inflat it again we can inflat this area and create that convex shape again convex is something sticks out and con concave is something kind of goes in so we have this shape here everybody has this uh, it can be deformed some people tends to have a big convex shape here which which kind of overlap the eyelid so it kind of hide the eyelid a little bit kind of on comes on top of that this shape so what we can do in that case we can mask the eyelid actually we need to do this we can mask the eyelid and carefully let me mask it I need to mask this below area as well because sometimes when I move these things tends to get affected. So here I'm going to remove from the mask, control alt to remove and only control to add. Here's something. Once you have the mask here, so we can now move this area using the move brush and kind of overlap the eyelid a bit so it tends to overlap in this area specifically something like this and these things actually uh, bring the realism because in 3d uh, people tends to kind of miss these things so here i'm going to get that concave shape which goes in a little bit creating the concave shape here okay something like this so again concave and then convex now we can smooth this a little bit smooth the overall eye area and then um, we need to refine this area we can use paint or we can use damp standard to refine this edge holding alt i'm going to refine this you can also use the lazy mouse if you go to stroke lazy mouse turn on the lazy mouse we have it already and we can increase the lazy radius a little bit which actually create delay the strokes and create that uh, you no know, line there you can see that red line uh, if you do this then you will get a refined line very steady line it won't be very wobbly wobbly kind of line it would be very smooth so having a little bit lazy radius is a good thing 
to create this kind of lines so i'm going to smooth everything let's create this lower eye i lead shape it's kind of non-defined right now i'm going to get that here something like this okay maybe we need to define this corner a bit i don't see that corner properly from this angle let's go in very refined i said and here i'm going to work on the eyeball as well so people tend to think the eyeball is a simple spear but it's not there's a kind of balls convex shape here in this cornea cornea area so i'm going to use my standard brush so let's use my standard brush and with the big shape i'm going to change it to drag dot so drag dot standard brush and i think i need to increase my intensity a little bit so what i'm going to do i'm drag this alpha and put that kind of ball here you can see that uh, shape i'm kind of dragging it and putting that exactly uh, the, i'm adjusting the scale thinking about the eye uh, cornea the no, the eye shape here you can see that cornea shape and let me undo i'm going to do it once and then one uh, press one to repeat that action without moving the view or camera anything so just to press one to repeat the action or you can just undo and increase the intensity as you like here so we can see a shape like this it's too much obviously that is too much so i'm going to maybe you can see this kind of bulginess on that area maybe i need to increase a little bit okay something like this here you can see that shape kind of come out a little bit having a convex shape so this shape helps us uh, to get that uh, kind of specular in that area uh, the reflection in that area and the real eye has this shape actually so i'm going to again adjust the make it evenly the even thickness here and i'm looking at the eye looking for the shape here shape adjustment and i think i need to adjust a little bit from the side view you can see this form and i'm going to i'm going to actually inflate this area to give it a little bit volume now it's flat i'm going to give it a little bit volume there okay something like this and then mm, what else we can do okay the tear dog tear dog part is there so what we can do we can just mask this area like this and then let's go to geometry extract so i'm going to extract extract the shape there so let me find the extract modify topology why is the extract i have not used that for for a long time so i think that's inside soft tool okay here it is extract now i'm going to extract that area a little bit so i get a shape there so now you can see i'm going to accept it so i got a new shape on that area obviously i'm going to use my dynamics on that little little piece stone on the dynamics here i think you need to mask control drag and turn on dynamics I may need to increase the dynamics resolution a bit it's it's a small piece so here we have the a spear shape and a cylinder kind of shape 
so if I move this and get that shape here maybe I need to increase it a little bit control drag outside to recreate it and here I'm going to maybe use my clay build up push this kind of ball and then a kind of line like this it has a round shape here and let's push that in so that it, it kind of blend with the eye maybe this okay something like this a icon uh, sorry the tear dock and then we have the eye now we need to move this eyeball to the other side so we need to mirror it so let's go to sub tool master and then hit the mirror option make sure it's merged into one sub tool so it would be a single sub tool and yeah that's fine so now we got the eye Obviously, we can continuously refine it and make it even better. Now we can see we have some kind of bulgy wobbliness going on here. We need to refine that. We need to refine this line again. So this inside line. So let me hide it or let me solo it. Go to transform and solo. Solo and then let's refine this push this area in so that it look more realistic and it looks like the skin is wrapping around so this line is very important okay now I'm going to transform solo you find the solo option somewhere below uh, here in this area but that's outside of my recording area so I'm not going to find that or use that from there okay something like this this line again as i said earlier it's kind of i mean the upper eyelid is kind of overlapping on top of the lower eyelid it doesn't just stay there it's, it's something like this you can use my clay tube to put a little bit volume to the upper eyelid and then smooth that And don't have a very very sharp line here but again it's kind of a sharp shape it's kind of a sharp uh, no changes in the plane again make sure it's smooth there's no wobbliness now it we have a little bit wobbliness okay something like this we can Obviously, we can go ahead and refine it a little bit more. I think I'm done with this. We can just put a little bit volume to the up lower area here. Something like this maybe. I need to refine this corner a bit. I don't like the corner area there. We need to refine this area. It should. Okay, something like this. Maybe this area needs to refine a little bit. Now 
Now you can see how the skin is kind of going in. So let me move this. So as you can see now the eye looks fine from this angle from the side we have this this angle here it looks like the eyelid is kind of wrapping around the eye i need to refine this a bit we need to push this area a little bit we need to push this area We find this line a bit, the socket line. Smooth everything and then we'll be ready to go here. Obviously there's the eyebrow and everything which helps. Uh, no, which helps kind of um, to get the eyes look obviously without eyebrow the eye will look very very bad so i'm going to put a little bit kind of funny eyebrow here fake eyebrow you can say so from here we can uh, adjust the eye a little bit more now I'm going to adjust the shape so here now this this looks a little bit wide and big so I'm going to move this let me move this thing here making this no the opening of the eye small so now it was big and then I'm going to make this Thing kind of pointed here so we need to pull this down and then again we need to pull down this side so so that this part has the kind of highest height I hope you are understanding me and now you can see this the corner here where it's kind of changing its angle and the corner here is kind of offset it. they are not on a line so you can see the corner is here and then the, this corner is here a little bit offset so if i draw a line here and draw a line here you can see it's kind of this way so this kind of small things have kind of mattered so i'm going to adjust the overall shape of the eye make sure everything is looking nice smooth and here that corner we should see that angle from this angle as well and here it should be kind of pointed kind of getting a little bit narrower something like this maybe we can move this side okay that's fine now the thickness looks a little bit uh, thin side so i'm going to pull the eyelid a little bit out so that we see a good thickness there so i'm looking at this area as well maybe i think that is fine so from this angle it should go in creating that round shape little bit of kind of wobbliness is going on so here i'm going to adjust that So it needs to be pointed here okay 
something like this let me smooth a little bit so from here i'm going to poly paint it so that it looks a little bit cool and presentable so i'm going to refine this area Sometimes you need to solo it uh, so that the brush stroke works properly. Oh, it's set to GR, that's why. Okay. Defining this corner. let get rid of get out of the solo mode and then i'm going to poly paint it a little bit so here i'm going to select the body the head and change the material to this matte cap skin material which will make it look like a skin okay now i'm going to fill this with the white color and the uh, material so select mrgp and i'm going to color and fill object so now this material and with this white color it's filled up and as you can see i have set it to white but it, this color is bring, comes from this material so you cannot change that that's the skin material and here i'm going to select the eye and let's change the material to toy shader so that is a good shiny material toy plastic sorry toy plastic and then uh, with this white color i'm going to set mrgb and color fill object now that's fill and i'm going to use that same material here on this piece so this time with a pink pink is kind of color so for this one the toy plastic material make sure mrgb is set go to color and fill object i think that's a little bit too dark there so i'm going to change the color and then fill object again okay that's fine and here i'm going to paint the eye cornea so i'm going to select the eyeball and then let's change it to change the brush to standard and the material is fine i'm going to create a kind of greenish eye so i'm going to select green a little bit desaturated green color and then with only rgb selected the grg sob is off as you can see make sure the symmetry is on and here i'm going to fill this color uh, to my eye cornea so i'm kind of eyeballing it here okay this big okay good and here i'm going to put a black color to the center that's the pupil of the eye it's a little bit big people tend to do it a small and then it's gonna look evil so don't do that here i'm going to uh, put a little bit light bounce effect here so i'm going to maybe go to a little bit different color and do that because if you put a single tone there single green 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 it's going to look monotone monotonous we can add a little bit different color to the eye let's say it's a green eye but i can add a little bit blue blue tint something like this and then i'm going back to green and uh, green to a dark color so that we can put the shading here so the, the upper side is dark and this boundary the the contour lines are dark You see the bounce effect at the center and we're going to put some line so you can see with a small brush i'm going to put some line in this fashion so i think let me undo i don't have a lot of polygons so i'm not getting a clear line here so i'm gonna divide it so let's divide it once more so that i get a little bit now you can see i'm getting a little bit clean line kind of going around that pupil creating the strokes so 
something like this as you can see it's kind of putting that shading here and only keeping that bright color in this area so that it looks like deep and kind of no uh, okay now i'm going to put some reddish tone and vein effect so let's go to the pink tone and maybe this color and then putting a pinkish tone here let me bring a reddish tone a lot of blood vessels are there veins you can see a lot of veins in these areas okay just after giving this kind of setting the pink red setting maybe i should have used a little bit more reddish tone okay now i'm going to create some vein with a small brush you can do it manually or you can use any alpha if you have like trees branches something like that just so imagine this you are you know, creating some tree with branches moving okay still you can see some wobbliness going on here so i'm going to move use my move brush and try to get rid of this kind of wobbliness make sure the move gr is selected okay that's fine okay something like this So the, uh, still I'm looking at this eye shape here. This side needs to come down so that so that the eye has the highest point here. So it's kind of going top here and then it's kind of going down, down, down from this area. Going down, down, down. So it doesn't have the peak point at the center. It has a peak point somewhere here. And then again we have this corner, the angle change. And then we have the angle change here so it's in this angle and then we have this again going down down so this is the down uh, point again not at the center so this shape is very important to me so that's why i'm kind of getting back to it and trying to get it so that's that makes the actually i look realistic that shape alone and then I'm going to smooth this area and from this angle now you can see again we need to get rid of this wobbliness I think I think it's fine maybe my, my eye corner comes back a little bit so I can move that move this side okay something like this i think let's change it to matte cap i don't want to paint any material or color at this stage so this is my tan standard with holding alt refining that line Okay, now I'm going to switch to a little bit dark tone and then with a standard brush, I'm going to paint the eyebrow, just you know, giving that hint. That's, the, uh, that's there. Because without eyebrow, if you save your eyebrow, you, know, you are going to be followed by a lot of dogs on the street. I mean, 
they will be amazed you look like an alien if you have if you saved your eyebrows so uh, that's why if you don't have the eyebrows then your eyes n is never going to look good and here i'm going to put some dark tone like just imagine like she is wearing kajal or something kajal kajal no little bit makeup makeup going on here obviously you need to have the eyelashes that's a very important aspect again if you save your eyelashes again the same thing will happen so here i'm going to put a little bit dark tone you can see this effect on animals as well so the eye area tends to a little bit dark in this areas okay i think i'm done i'm not going to do the eyelashes though so i think this video will help you if it if it helps kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss my further future videos and if you want to see my premium courses where i go deep into the character modeling process the entire character modeling process not just a feature of the face then kindly check the description link i have created some courses and you can check those if you uh, if you are interested so i'll see you in a new video till then take care and bye bye